Hey, 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 how y'all doing, man? It's your boy Nurse King back with another video. So, I was going through my emails and somebody emailed me. This is the email I got, which I'm gonna put on the screen. I got a whole playlist about WGU for all the classes in the BSN program, except one, and I got all of the paperwork on it and I forgot about it. You know, I forgot about the class, man. I so forgot about the dang class. So what I am going to do is, this is the D223, oh, excuse me, D223 healthcare policy. So unfortunately, unfortunately, if you look at this, right, I have no longer access to my stuff because I actually been graduated with my BS in the nursing. <laughs> it's crazy you'll be seeing this before you continue on to the other classes, but I do remember what we did in this particular class. And what we did in this class was write two papers. I'm not gonna show you how, you know what I mean, to write the papers. I'm gonna show you what I did. If you need to learn how to write these papers, I have a video on how to write these papers. But here is the situation on these classes here. This is your performance assessment number one. Notice, healthcare policy and economics. Examine a healthcare organization that's significant in you using the American Hospital Directory website. Me, I live in Southwest Georgia. You can look this up right now as the words coming out of my mouth. It's called John D. Archbold Memorial Hospital. That's what I did mine on. If you get to the end, well, you ain't gotta get to the end of the video. I'm going to pin, in the first comment, I'm gonna pin all this particular, if you look at this, it's in perfect order. Perfect order. It's gonna fit the rubric. All you need to do is get in here, A, A1, A2, A3, fill it in, put your reference in there, Turn it in, simple as that. This the template that I'm gonna have included in the folders. This is it finished. 531, the first day I turned it in. As you can see, look, it's exactly as simple as this. You know, just fill it in. Screenshot it if you want to, which it ain't gonna be, don't need to screenshot because I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna pin it in the comments and you're gonna be able to get anything. I wish that I, I would have remembered this, so I could have showed y'all with these performance assessments what we did wrong so you can understand how to fix it. But like I said, I did a video for that. That's your task one. You're going to do that. It's going to be a real short video. Real short. And this is part two, performance assessment two. Like I said, remove all the information in red before submitting. And it was hell, hell trying to it was hell trying to do this template, man, for people so y'all can, you know, so please give me a like or subscribe or something, you know what I mean? What, you, see them? Federal state healthcare policy. Off the muscle, you already know, federal, you can use HIPAA. That's pretty simple, you know, pretty, pretty much, you know. I forgot what I used on the state particular. Let's go see what I did on the state. It's been so long. I'm gonna go ahead and go into the last one right here. Let's see what I chose. Federal, see? Hippo. And oh, I forgot, because my wife, she worked at the hospital. I remember when this came in, the Georgia Surprise Billing Consumer Protection Act. That's what we do down here. So if you go to the hospital, when you're in the hospital, they're gonna bring you how much money and show you how much money that they build you for and all that. So that's just what I chose to get through this. And um. Like I said, I'm I'm sorry that I couldn't show y'all exactly what you do in this class, but it's not easy to navigate performance assessment, performance assessment to turn it in, and that's it. So if you like this type of content, you know what to do. Holla at your boy Nurse King on the flip side. Peace.